guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well i am here to do a unboxing with you guys share my um handbag storage case that i just picked up yesterday from ikea so happy um i had it in the back in the day when we lived in germany the first time and then we got rid of it and then i remembered how great it was and the perfect size so i repurchased it yesterday so i'm so excited about it so let's go ahead and do the unboxing and then i'll jump into showing you the display case that i have for all of my handbags and accessories all right so okay here goes been a little naughty it's been so long since i've done a luxury unboxing we've been buying so much stuff but yeah we still anyways so it's been a while since i've done a luxury unboxing chanel so excited all right first item ah, yay so it's in this little box right here the ribbon i've already been using it for the last couple of days but i put it back in here so it can be an unboxing like that like so oh and then here goes the little um oh fendi i was looking at fendi stuff but here goes this receipt i have too um yep and it came from let me see what's it called the little place called bay harbor um ball horror over here in miami beach comes in this cute little suede dust bag here and here it goes it's just a little black wallet on the chain i've just needed a small i've been looking for a small black handbag if you guys remember i've ordered the um ysl lulu toy lulu three different times literally three different times in last year before we moved and they kept canceling my order because they kept getting sold out um so i said forget it i gave up on it but anyways this is the wallet on a chain this is the caviar leather it has the little pocket on the back it's a classic little bag i like the size it's a bit heavier than my other chanel um which is um a calfskin leather i believe this is how it looks I think back in the day, this zipper used to be like a pull tab, but they have um, changed it so it's not pushing against your leather. So when you close it, it's not um, pushing on here and putting dents in your leather is what I'm understanding from people, other people's review. I did gold. I thought the black and gold was just so chic and you know. It has six card holders here. It has like a little pocket here. Another little pocket here. That's the authenticity card from Chanel. And it has the little numbers on the back and all that for this specific purse. I still have the plastic on the pull tab. And then it has another um, zip. So it's one pocket. This one with the zipper, behind the zipper, the hole right here, and then here, you can put stuff in here. It goes all the way down the back of the bag. I think she used to put like notes and stuff like that um, in there, but super cute. Okay, so this is how it fits on me, just like that, perfect, it hits me perfectly this is exactly the length that i wanted my bag and so good it fits my phone even though i have this little pop socket on there but it still fits in here with no problem see that and i keep this little um just a six key holder um, I carry this too, and that fits in here. I just, here's my card holder that I use, and sometimes I'll just place it um, in this little zip pocket. I'll just place it in there. Um, earbud, pro earbuds. So those fit in there as well. So I can, 
and then I just go ahead and close it. Now I will say this is the just because I guess of the leather is a tad bit just a slight bit heavier than this Chanel just because of the this type of leather it's um softer so it's not as heavy as this one um, okay but again this is one of my favorite look that has the same chain drop because some of the Chanel bags can be short this one is definitely not as heavy as this Alright, so my little wallet on the chain is awesome. And then yesterday, I ran into um, Bath & Body Works. Actually, April was going into there. Um, and then I just happened to like, hey, I need some more hand sanitizer. Because before, I was just carrying this little um, little one inside of the, the purse um, as well. But I found this little cute... Um, thing look it's like a wedding ring how cute is that so I just snap it on like that and it's wide enough where on the side $5.95 and then all of these look like they were on special um, you get five of their little hand things for like five eight bucks or something like that all right, so yeah, that's what I picked up. I'm on a fence about these, so these may go back. But here goes another item in this big old box. I absolutely still love them, but I'd rather buy another handbag than have some sandals. So that's why I'm like, ooh, I don't know. I keep thinking about it, so that's why they've just been sitting here. White. And it comes in a red as well, but look at these. And then the back it has the CC's, this super cute leather. I love this color so much. I'm gonna try them on so you can see. All right, so now we're done with the, oh no, no, I almost forgot. One more Chanel item. I forgot about this because this one had to be shipped it came out of California. This stuff came from Miami Beach. The lady, um, my essay, purchased this from, and they put a little flower, a little black, and you fold it. Oh, what is that? Okay. Finally got a Chanel brooch. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. I wanted this thing for so long. Just look at how good that looks. So that is what it is for so long. This is definitely not your um typical brooch. Ooh, fancy. Look at how good that looks on this satin jacket. This thing came from um Zara. And, ooh. Let's move it. Let's close the butterfly off. Ooh, so fancy. So fancy. Pricey as heck, but it's gonna make any plain little jacket pop anything you can just elevate see i wish kind of now i wish my bag was silver hardware just because of this brooch but i'm gonna make it work okay so that's that 1300 the handbag was 26.50 and the brooch was 6.25 Okay. All right, so here goes this little display case that I picked up yesterday from Ikea. And this is what it looks like empty. I'm gonna fill it back up so you can see how I'm gonna play around with it. So here it goes. It has one, two, three shells, and then the bottom. And then I've already started adding things here at the top. All right, I'm gonna fill it up and I will come back and share how it looks.
All right, so here goes the display case. For the most part, everything is in here. Um, again, I would just have to live with it and play around with it, you know, but you can close and close it. I have to get this, um, that sticker, I'm gonna have to get it off with a razor blade. So I just have to, I tried to pull it off, but it's not coming off. But here goes everything, my umbrella, some mask. This is the little um, dust bag. My Chanel dust bag, I just placed it up there for right now. My Louis Vuitton strap is up here. And then that's just paper towels and like a little duster to keep everything dust free. And then here goes the case. I think it looks good right here. And then my desk, the window, my closet I can open. I can open my closet with, you know, no problems. And then at the bottom, my shoes. And then this little container in this basket. So it'll be easy for me just to dig through here. I got that thing from like um, Target somewhere for five bucks. So I can close my closet. I'm just going to leave that basket of sandals there. And then here's this. And then look at this. Oh, I forgot to share. This is actually for a computer stand, but I put it in sort of my closet and I have this little tray and I put my little perfumes on there. This is actually a new perfume right here. Montel, I don't know how you say it. Um, so yeah, and then I'm still playing around with like getting things organized. Okay, so yeah, and then in here, this is another Jo Malone heart box and I just have my belts and stuff in there and then this is just like my little accessories that I was traveling with more uh, you know you could put it on your bag I can act that into my case actually over here but anyways I'm gonna probably put some hooks on the side of here so I can put things like this on the side of here but let me just clip this on double-sided um, hooks and I need to get this off these stickers they are terrible they can't come off without any um without any like a razor blade all right so you guys see the progress I am making in within three weeks so this was really holding me up for getting organized now my bags are not smashed in that little closet like all of those all the accessories was smashed on like one shelf it was like too much too much damage to my bags so here it goes there all right you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video of me sharing my little display cabinet with you and some of the new items that we have picked up here lately um we enjoy miami i can't keep <laughs> saying that enough it is so much fun out here all right until the next time be blessed and manifest your life peace